Season one. You heard? Season we, one. Y'all remember when we fucking first started? We got motherfucking Dilly Dollars in the building. First verified artist in conference room, you heard? Let's clap it the fuck it up. Blue check. Blue check, blue check, blue check, blue check. Fuck all that. We're going to get it into so real So this the end of the first season? This, yeah. Season right. finale. We gonna, right. Next season? We're going to step it up a little bit, you heard? Mics, you heard? Say that. <laughs> better scenery, better, maybe a better couch, you know? Say that. You heard? But fuck all that. Yo, who that song was about? I don't know. That song was about somebody. That song was fire. That song was fire. It, it was fire. It definitely Thanks, was fire. Um, but he was talking about somebody, I think. I mean, if, if the artist want to take it that way, if you're an artist you want to take that song a certain way, you can take it a certain way. I wasn't really talking about nobody. You try to start yeah, early. You try to start early. You try to start early, man. Yo, yo, yo. It's for, it, the man. for the people that don't know Dilly Dollars, <laughs> Dilly Dollars, give them a little uh, uh, background about yourself. Yo, it's Dilly Dollars, man. I'm from Jersey, man. I've been working. I've been doing music basically my whole life, man. That's it, man. I'm on the, I'm on the north. Yeah, we, we up north with it. Passaic County. So we up north. The other day, Dice came here and said, I'm putting on for the East. What's good with you, man? This nigga's is fucking weird, bro. Pussy County, man. Fucking weird, bro. But don't try to be humble, bro. You you somebody, bro. Nah. You got the blue check. You somebody. That blue check ain't shit, bro. somebody. I'm going to always be humble. Like, I'm grateful for that blue check. It opened a lot of doors for me, but, like, I'm going to always be humble, bro. I'll never I'll never talk about what I got or if I'm better than the next person. I always respect other artists, so... That's why I'm over. What's your first sight of fame? What's your first sight of fame? First time you ever had a little bit of fame? When I seen fame, it wasn't personally mine. Okay. I saw fame early. Um, I had I was with Dice. You know, I, I always came up around Dice, and um, he brought me around Fetty shows. So mm -hmm. 
when Fetty first start, started getting popping and shit, I used to go to his shows. So like, I saw that fame early. Like me, just as the the group, I was with them, just walking in with them. People was grabbing me, like, oh my god, Fetty. So I saw that shit at an early age, and to be honest, that's what made me go harder. Cause I was like, damn, I want this shit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm getting love, and I'm not even the main person. I'm just with these with these guys, and I'm getting all this shit. So that's that's what really started all this. Me going hard with this music shit when I saw that. That was my first fame shit. Well, I did a, I did a little research. I want you to go back, because from my understanding, you was on Nickelodeon. Naked Brother Band? Naked Brothers Band, yeah. What the fuck? How the fuck? You from Jersey? How the fuck that? When the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Explain that, bro. Because mm -hmm. you, you just skip right past, like, the first time I see so, Fame. So, like, so yeah. like, growing up before music, I was always... I was always like, I'm talented as fuck. I'm humble, but I'm talented. Like when it comes to sports, I always was nice at sports. Mm -hmm. When it came to um, being funny, I was always funny. So my mom threw me at acting while I was in middle school. So I was in an agency early, early as hell. So I did some shows at Tracy Morgan, Dirty Rob. I, I did a few things and that shit opened doors and it made me see a lot of things. Like I wouldn't go to school for a week, middle school, like for a whole week just to get paid and be in New York doing acting. You made a lot of money doing that? Cause Cause I, I, ain't but I couldn't see the money until I was 18 and went to a trust account because okay. I was young as hell. So you got a little chicken then because you got to see the chain. You got a little blue verified check. You got a little chicken. Talk about it. You got a little chicken. Mm -hmm. how, the, how life treat you? It's good. I mean, everybody always struggle in their old ways. Like, even if you're a millionaire, you're still going to struggle because you're going to have bigger bills to pay now. I mean, everyone still struggle, but, like, I'm working hard. I mean... <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I do. I mean, I like money. I love money, and I love saving. I'm not the person to always go out and spend. So okay. I like to save. How close were you with the Remy boys? I wouldn't say I was like best friends, buddy buddy with them, but Dice my best friend. So whenever there was a Remy boy event, studio, anything, I'm always there. You know what I'm saying to this day, when there's Remy so boy you, sessions, I'm there. You know so you was around during the fallout. Fallout, everything. Talk about that or not? We could talk about whatever on this podcast. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But you want to know? So, 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 everything popping and, and Dice <clears throat> is basically blanked out from everything. <clears throat> what you mean? When in the beginning, Dice, from my understanding, that Dice is no longer going on tour with them, no longer making. When they fell out, yeah, 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 yeah. So where are you, where are you with Dice at this, at that, at mo that moment? Um. <clears throat> When they was like going through their fallout, me and Dice just sat back, you know, to the seat back and um, we didn't really know, we didn't plan shit ahead of time. We, we didn't think about what's gonna happen in two years. We was thinking about what's happening now. So like, I went with whatever Dice said, cause Dice is my best friend. I fuck with Fetty Wap. I grew up as a Fetty fan. Fetty was always like my favorite artist, you know what I'm saying? But Dice being my best friend, helping me with the music and everything. WAP ain't do that for me, so mm -hmm. I took Dice's side. So when it came to the beef side... I was gonna say, because there was a lot of beef going on around So it. when it came to the beef side, I always took whatever Dice told me. And mm -hmm. Dice, whatever Dice was telling me, I'm like, bet. So literally, whatever he told me, I just went with. So if it was beef, it was beef. Do you regret any of it? Do I regret it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> nah, not at all. And I told WAP that. I was like, when I spoke to WAP... Mm -hmm. You and um, WAP cool now? Me and Wap, yeah, we were cool. Um, we had a few, we had a few altercations, but like after that, um, I was in the studio on Lakeview Ave. Um, shout to O, he got a studio with Waltonburg now. But, mm -hmm. um, I was in that studio. I was there with Grit, and that's um, if you want to tell people who Grit is. Nit the Grit, Mr. Mr. Fucking Nit the Grit RGF fucking yeah. Productions. That's the um, that's Mr. Fuck up a jersey. Basically the um. The label for for WAP at the time. Okay. That's who that, that's who Grit is, and I was with him at the time. That's, Yo, that's another talk, story. But, why? But, was, but, but, but why you talk so fucking humbly? Why you do that? Uh, like yeah, you know you want to mention his name, Nick. Nick, how close? Like as far as far as Dice, right? How close were you with the music with him? Dice. Yeah. Dice ain't make a song without me there. Like. I'm all, I'm there for every song, every feature, everything, bro. Like, that's why I'm so creative now with the music, cause the dice. So, dice helped me so get. So you with dice from the beginning, 
Um, from when I started making music. Yeah, no, when did you meet us? Were you were you around when around nah. the time like man? So how, how it started? Want, how it started was, I just graduated high school from Clifton, mm -hmm. from Clifton. And my man from Clifton was like, yo, you gotta make a song with Watt, bro. He's from Patterson, he, he's popping right now. Listen to his song, he sent me the song track, and I bumped it, mm -hmm. fire, it was fire. So he sent me the gram, I DM Watt, Watt probably had like three, 4,000 followers at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, bro, how much for a feature? This shit fire. He's like, just give me, throw me a hundred. I'm like, yo, I got a hundred right now, it's good. He's like, I'm at Applebee's and Garfield, and that's when he came through. And he came through and he gave me that feature and it was dope. Like, my mom, you know what I'm saying? I'm Italian, I'm white. So, like, my mom, I had to tell her, like, yo, it's a guy from Patterson coming to the crib. You know, mm -hmm. he's coming with a few people. Don't worry about it. Like, he has one eye, but don't worry about it. Like, don't say shit. Just ignore it. Let me do my thing. I'm going to do mm -hmm. so much. She's like, all right, don't worry. Fetty Wap not big at this point. Nah, he's not big. Okay. So, he come in the crib. We're doing a song. We're smoking in my crib. I'm young as hell. He's like, yo, I fuck with you. Like, you got the own studio you smoking mm. and um my mom on the porch now she with her friend outside and she like yeah dilly dilly inside making a song with some guy from patterson with one eye and he hears it he starts laughing i'm like oh, bro don't worry about that <laughs> so like we ended up chopping it up he took my number down he was like you cool as hell and the next day he would always put on like facebook and instagram who want to smoke someone roll up I would always hit him like So Remy Boys is formed at this point. Yeah, Remy Boys is formed, but all, all I know about is Fetty Wap at this point. Okay. I, I didn't I wasn't tuned in. So now I started tuning in. I tuned into the Remy Boys. I learned about Dice, Monty. And then Wap gave me another feature for free. He came mm -hmm. through, he's like, yo, the smoke and that and then we did a song. And then I'm on Main Ave and Clifton one day and I seen Dice. I'm like, yo, Dice, fuck with me, bro. I got a song with Wap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with all of you niggas, like you guys are dope. And he's like, yo, fuck it, he took my number down, took his number down. And the next day I met him, not the next day, like probably a week after, because my boy Bando, he um, he did a feature with Monty, and Monty pulled up with Dice. And Dice was like, yo, ain't, ain't I see you on me now? He's like, yo, I fuck with you. And then ever since that day, like Dice came over, we made music, and I just stuck with Dice. Like Dice was always- When, is, when does the best friend situation come into <clears throat> I mean, it really came right away. Like, once I met with him, like, we ain't stopped chilling with each other from that day. Like, we was buddies. Like, every day, like, yo, what are you doing? Nothing. Come through. Okay. Came through, made music, gotcha. smoke. Then he would be like, yo, Wop got a session. You trying to go? Obviously, I just made a song with Wop. He was, I was a big fan, so I'm like, hell yeah, we out. So I experienced all that. Then he'd be like, yo, we got a show tonight. You coming? Hell yeah. And I'm in high school. Like, mm -hmm. I just graduated. So it's like, I'm fresh with this shit. I'm young as hell, not even 21 yet. And they're letting me in, so that's how all that shit started. Now, Trap Queen pops off, right? Mm hmm. How close are you to it? To it or Fetty? Fetty, Remy Boys. I'm right there. You're right there? I'm in it. I'm so in it. I'm right there. Like, they shot six, seven, nine, and Dice, like, you coming to the video shoot? Mm -hmm. Like, hell yeah, I'm in the video. So. Yeah, 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 I see you in the video. Yeah, I'm in the video, so I, I was very close, bro. Well, so, I was when in the it. fuck does the fallout happen? Um. It's in other interviews, like Dykes talk about it. Some shit happened with like Tax G, you know what I'm saying? Tax G made okay, a comment okay, okay. saying, saying Fetty stole that. his style. And, and niggas, that, ran on, ran, niggas ran on Dykes. And Dice, Dice being the, the knucklehead Dice is, if you he met Dice, you know he got no. Dice came crazy. I, don't, I yeah, still don't so, understand why Dice did that. So he came at Tax G, and he was like, yo, bro, basically, like, whatever. And he started some shit, and Tax G from Newark. You know, all that gang violence, and um, that shit escalated, and basically people called WAP and was like, yo, see the dice or all of you? From what I, from my understanding, I ain't never talked to WAP about this, but from my understanding, and then, um, that's what happened. We just went on our own. They just supposedly kicked dice to the wolves. Did you, get, did you get involved in the, um, the muscle team, uh, fuzz beef? I didn't get involved, but they, they had a, um... They had a diss song against WAP, and I was in the video just because I was with Dice at the time. We had moved to Edgewater, and that, that around that time, that's when we shot the video. So we was living together, so I'm like, why, why not be in the video? You my brother, and I, I see what you're going through. Like your best friends basically kicked you to the wolves. Mm -hmm. They're millionaires now, and, and you don't got a dollar to your name because we're trying to. We've been trying to do this. We mm -hmm. all started it together. You know what I'm saying? So I felt his pain, so that's why I rocked with him. At what point, because you guys are beefing, y'all beefing with uh, Remy Boys, right? 
And at one point, Dice catches a case. And how do you guys meet Wonder Boys, Rollo? Um, Dice was in jail. Um, because first, Dice, I ain't know how the fuck he met him. Like at first, he built Dice out, correct? He, yeah, he um. Dice bail was never that much, you know what I'm saying? And, it wasn't the 500000 or something like that? And I don't know which bail this was, but like, cause Dice was locked up multiple times, but... I know for, for this, the big case. For this bail that Rollo was saying that he... That he the big um, case, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, for the shooting or whatever. For that, I put money up for the bail. Like, a whole... I mean, people from the hood put money up. It wasn't just Rollo Wonder, but Rollo Wonder took that, took that role and thought it was good for like the blogs, you know what I'm saying? Just bailed him out, 100,000, whatever he said. So that's what he did, bro. So at this point, y'all both going signed to Rollo Wonder? I never what's, signed to Rollo. Um, yeah, what's the situation over there? So when Dice got out, he introduced me to him and told me what's happening. Yo, we met this guy, he's gonna move us out of Patterson. We gonna live in Edgewater in a mansion. This guy brought us to, to mansions. He was like, yo, Dilly, you want to live here? I'm like, hell yeah, she had an elevator. I ain't gonna lie, I, My, like, I told you from the jump, it was, the whole shit was sketchy from the yeah, jump. Yeah, when we was talking facts, but um, I didn't think it was as sketchy because- Yeah, how did it look from the inside to you? Bro, this guy brought me to a mansion with the realtor and everything with dice. And I was like, you like this house? In front of the guy, and I'm like, yeah, he's like, I bet. Looking at the guy, like, he's like, you might take this one. So, bro, I'm, I'm thinking this shit is serious, you know real? what I'm saying? Realtor, real realtor, everything. So then, like, months go by and we never move out. Mind that, I just got, like, some shit happened. I just got shot at. So I'm not even trying to be in... You got shot at. I'm not trying to... I'm not even trying to be in Jersey at the time. Wait, 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 You got shot at. Yeah, some shit what happened. You from Clifton, bro? What the fuck? Some shit happened shit? In, in Patterson. Um, they followed me from Clifton to okay. Patterson, from my understanding. But, uh -huh. It is what it is, bro. Shit, shit happened. They, they shot at my whip. But after that, Rollo see what happens. He's like, yo, bro, I'm gonna move you to Edgewater. Don't worry about it. Like, fuck them. I'm gonna get you out. Blah, blah, blah. Months go on and nothing happens. I'm telling Dice, like, yo, I feel like this guy's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Then one day I get a phone call. They'll like, pack your stuff. And they sent me a, a location. Wait, wait, wait. And it was wait, the wait, house. Wait, 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 Dilly. Because you, you speeding. You speeding. You going 100 miles per hour. But you ain't, you, you, you too far, bro. You too far. What's the situation over? He got y'all lit? What's the situation? No, nah, it's just a guy that we thought he, he had a, he was putting a bag behind us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you thought or was he actually putting At a the bag At the time behind? we thought because he he was saying he's gonna move us in, then when he actually called me and was like, yo, pack your stuff, come to this location, we really moved into a fucking mansion with an elevator and everything for a good year. And he was supplying everything, like money, everything. So and you're not signed to him or nothing? At I didn't point. sign nothing ever. To Dice signed to him? Dice might have signed to him. I don't know, bro. You know, bro. Don't do that, bro. I don't, know. don't fucking do that, Dilly. Don't do no. that, bro. As far as... Right, no. right, right. As far as the lawsuit, who put the lawsuit through for, for the, with RGF, for P. Dice? Rollo sued him. Rollo sued... Um, Wop and Nip for seven mil, seven million. And who got that money, Rollo or Dice? Nobody got that money. Um, Nobody got it? Nah. Um, basically, Dice was still in jail and we was fighting it from the outside, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, um, while the court case was going on, Grit contacted me. And I always was told, don't speak to this guy because he's a clown and he just, he, he, I always heard that he was the one that ruined everything or whatever. Mm -hmm. so. In my head, I don't know. So in my head, I'm like, yo, fuck. You was close to it. You know, bro. Don't do that. You fucking know, bro. Yeah, take that fucking drop, that shot, whatever. The, let me take a shot, too. Got me fucking up over here. Did I bro, know what, though? Did I know? Did he come across as a clown to you at that point? Nah. Um, he never came across a clown to me because he never did no clown shit to me at that point. What about at you? That you point. think he did some clown shit to Fetty Wap? Um, was from the interviews that I'm seeing to this day, it looks like he did some clown shit. Like, how you gonna not let Fetty go on tour with Future and all these? Why wouldn't you do Personally, that? Personally, I think he was greedy. He was being greedy. He, he he made the money, but he didn't want to put the money back into the music. Personally. What you think? Let me guess, you don't know that either, huh, Dilly? Nah, I think it was more personal. I think Rick, um, 
feel like he put his money up so he deserved money back. That's how that's, like that's it how it goes. Yeah, that, that's how it's supposed to go to a certain extent. But um Yeah, that's how that's how that go. <laughs> anyway, so at what point does the fallout with Rollo begin? Dice in jail. Oh, no, Dice didn't even go to jail yet. He revoked, he, he got his, his bill I moved revoked, out. Right? No, nah, actually, no, nah, Dice just got locked up. I moved out and I was living with some girl and shit happened, fell out. And I'm trying to move back to the mansion. I hit up Rollo, like, it was good, I'm gonna come back. He's like, nah, bro, you good, you're not coming back. Like, shit, shit done with, you're not with us no more. I'm like, what? So then, like, it was just drama after that. I went to the house to try to get my bed and my dresser, and they ain't, they ain't let me get it. To this day, I don't have my shit, my clothes, nothing. They was did like, you ever try to get it? I went there. I was like, yo, like, and some random guy, I never seen him in my life, he came out, he's like, yo, you Wonder Boys? And I'm like, yeah, I live here. Like, all my stuff's right in that room up there. He's like, nah, you're not Wonder Boys. Like, get out of here. No way. And then he ran inside and grabbed something, so I just got, I just got low. Just got out. I, I wasn't with it, so. And Dice was in jail at that point. But then, like I said before, when Dice was in jail, Grit contacted me mm -hmm. with this whole lawsuit shit. And he was like, yo, fuck with me, blah, blah. Dice always told me from jail, do, do J-Pay, yo, block, block Grit. But Grit never personally did nothing to me at that point, so why would I block him? So I didn't block him, and he hit me up. I never linked with him for, like, months. Then finally, he's like, bro, I'm a millionaire. Like, if I touch you, bro, you can sue me. So I linked with him, bro, and he just, we just chopped it up. He told me his side of everything from the jump. What was his side? His side was basically just, like, with um, dice. Nothing. I mean, he feel like that. It was something, bro. He feel like that. Like, bro. Stop fucking doing that. It was something, bro. You was right next to it too, so you know what the hell was going on. You and like you said, you and Dice best friends for a reason. Mm -hmm. So what's the situation over there? What, what what happens? Nah, at the end of the day, bro, like Grit and Dice are family. So when I when I looked at it from what the you out, mean family like they they're cousins. Together? They're cousins. Um, no Di Dice way. is Grit's blood cousin. You know what I'm saying? So wow. So when this shit all happened, I'm looking at this shit like you know your own family trying to. In my eyes, Dice always always told me his own family doing him dirty because he's sitting mm -hmm. there doing him dirty. So when I finally talked to Grit, it was like, I got an understanding of everything, like... Dice is a knucklehead, Dice, Dice do be getting fucked up, but we all do that, bro. We're artists, that's what we do. But when it comes to the talent, bro, Dice is talented as fuck. So, like, everything equal out at the end of the day. So what he was saying, basically... You put Dice in your top five? Dice is definitely my top five. Okay. Dice and Wap, definitely. Okay. Hell oh, yeah. What about Monty? <laughs> Monty. That's my Money guy. Ma. That's my guy. He's not in my top five, but that's definitely my bro. Yeah. Like Monty, me and Monty speak a lot. A lot. We speak a lot throughout the weeks. So that's my boy. Yeah. So how you end, how do you end up cool with Nick? So Nick's hitting me up and I never link with him. He's like, yo, if I touch you on the man there, you can sue me or whatever. I'm like, whatever, bro, just pull up. I'm in Newark, and I mm -hmm. send an address. He's like, bro, I ain't coming to Newark, and you bugging. So that's when I felt like, oh, Nick on some, like, he might be on some scary shit, like, you're not going to come to Newark back. So I finally met him in my crib, and, and we chopped it down. And he was like, yo, you, you know y'all suing me for, like, mad other shit that's not true? I'm like, what you mean? Who was y'all? That's Wonder Boy. He Wonder Boy, yeah. Stuff. He's like, you know, y'all suing us for like, um, supposedly Rollo sued them and said that Dice wrote Trap Queen and mad other shit, mad, mad, mad bullshit. So that's not true. You know what I'm saying so. Um, Nate was like, yo, if you get Dice to fuck with me, I get him a six, seven, nine money, and that's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'll be good. So you help Dice get his money. He'll be good, and basically. I looked at it like, bro, we was beefing with them for all these years while they was on tour with Chris Brown and, and Mansions in L.A. And we didn't get to meet none of these people because we were beefing with them. Mm -hmm. So in my eyes, it's like, why not fuck with them because they have all these connections and we're still doing music. So why not just cut all the bullshit and just work? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I looked at it as. So I, t I hit that into the JPEG. I'm like, yo, I'm never grit. <clears throat> 
when he get out of jail, meet with Rick. He's like, fuck it, I'll do it. And then basically they met up and the whole lawsuit got squashed. And Dice, I think he got, no, nah, he didn't even get all his money from 679 yet. Because how did all this but lawyer they, shit go? They, he got they, some money, but okay. like, how this shit go is Did they settle it or are they still going it's through settled, it? settled, yeah. Everything's good. Like, okay. And we're all good together. <clears throat> we're on the studio. I went to WAP's um, Butterfly Effect um, release party. So we're all good. We're all chilling. It was How the fuck studio. was that? You like, yeah, I was beefing with basically everybody at that point. Yeah, but I told you at the studio I met with Grit and, he, and we, me and WAP finally talked. Okay. And I told WAP basically, like, yo, I'm sorry for, for trolling you in the past, talking all that shit. I was young as hell. I'm grown now, but I learned so much. He was like, nah, bro, like, I hope you learn from that, basically. It was all love. How heavy was the beef? It was heavy, bro. It was heavy. It's the worst thing that ever happened to you doing that beef? To me doing that yeah. beef? I mean, I got hands put on me, but that's about it. I mean, when I got shot at, that had nothing to do with that beef, uh -huh. so. So you said you got hands put on? Who put their hands on you? Yeah. One, of, one, of, one of the RGF artists put their hands on me. I was young as hell, though. I was young at the time. Like. Couldn't even defend myself at the time. Like now, I'm, now I'm grown and I like now nah, I was just I was shooting a video and I knew the artist because he was always with them at the studio. So I said it was good to him and um, basically I went my way and then out of nowhere they like yo who's the white boy like bring him over. And I went over there and like what's good bro you good? And he was like yo I'm good but like yo basically just. Keep Nick name out your mouth and, and RGF and Bob name out your mouth and bow. <clears throat> Knocked me out. Hit me on the floor. It was it was at the R Factory so in Patterson, so. PBG, now that you're saying that, I ain't gonna lie. You know who I think of knocking the fuck out? Aiden Ross. Who? Aiden Ross. <laughs> Aiden Hell Ross, no. Aiden Ross will beat, beat the brakes off you. Never. You don't think so? All right, what about YK, YK Osiris? We asked somebody this before. Do you be YK Osiris? Nah, Can you he fight, Dilly? Because you don't look like you, you from Clifton, Dilly. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's give him that. You got, you got Patterson. You got Passaic. You got Nork. You probably got a, you got Irvington, East Orange. Then you got Clifton. Like, can you fight, Dilly? Yeah, when I have to. I have mad anger in me, bro. Like, what you mean? Shit. Shit happens in everybody's life where, like, people build up anger. And I have a lot of it in me where I haven't let it go. So if someone... Want to let it out? They could do that, and you'll see the see what happens. Like, any, it's a lot of shit I've been through, bro. Where any of like, that fucks me up. Any of that anger from the music? No, none of that anger from me. It's life. It's life shit that happens. Shit happens in life, bro. So what you got going on now, bro? Shit. <clears throat> it's like a new me. Uh, um, Rebranding myself. I'm making new types of music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Focusing on myself. You know what I'm saying, um, I got a rock tape coming out. I got a whole bunch of shit, bro. It's you got any music out right now? <clears throat> yeah, I got a whole bunch of music out right now. My last tape. Is it better than your your your? Yeah, cause old you, music? Yeah, cause cause you said my shit trash. So. <laughs> it's garbage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's garbage. It's garbage. And I heard your shit too. That shit yeah, is yeah. trash. Yeah, nah, you probably you you, you probably <laughs> need, you probably need a verse from me. You definitely need a verse from me. A hook or two. But we ain't gonna we ain't, we ain't gonna talk too much about that. Yeah, what's your situation with Nick right now? Shit, he's not in my orbit, bro. What you mean? Just take it how you want. He's not in my orbit right bro, now. Bro, you like, can't you can't come up here and say, "Yo, I hit Nick." Everybody always told me he was a clown. Da da da. I hit him. We fixed the situation, and now he's not in my orbit. What's the situation? <laughs> He's not on my orbit, bro, but I wish him the best. It's like I wish everybody the best, bro. Yeah, he, he ever helped you out? Um, <clears throat> never. never. Never? I helped him out. How, how you gonna help a nigga I that mean, went diamond? He never, he never, how I help him out? You, you can't help a nigga that went diamond. Why not? How, Dilly? He still got artists to this day that didn't pop. Okay. So I'm from? helping him, I helped him out. Like, what I, you do? I do marketing, you know. I, What's I, marketing? I can fuck with numbers. I get people blue checks, you know what I'm saying? I got one of his artists verified a blue check. 
I could get people numbers and all that shit, but like that's that's a whole different subject. That's, get people that's numbers. Who you getting numbers? That's marketing. Who you shit. getting that's numbers? No, shit. I need to know. We got the conference when we bring it to the motherfucking table right here. You hear me? <laughs> Who the fuck at RGF getting all these fucking fake numbers? Fake blue check. What the fuck going on? It's not What's a fake blue on? check. Every blue check's real. It's, it's hold on, wait, let me pull the phone out. Get blue check real? Billy, don't do that at the conference room. I'm about to find out right now. Let's do it. How Let's you gonna find out? I'm gonna find out right now. Let's see it. Dilly, I'm not to find out. Dilly, don't do this to yourself. You at the conference room? Let me know. Let's I can cut it. it out right now. I'm gonna give you another chance. Don't cut nothing out. Okay. Dilly dollars. We gonna go right here. Fake. Yeah. Fake. So so. Fake. So Let's look, go. Look, look. So I'm gonna show you. It's fake. It's fake. Show the camera. It's fake. Look. We gonna go to Dilly dollars shit, right? Look. We gonna go to Dilly dollars page, right? Right. We gonna go to the we gonna go to the corner, right? Uh-huh. Where's about this person? Nowhere. Alright, we're gonna go to everybody else now that you look, know. Let's look at the co-founder of Instagram. Let's go to their about. Where the fuck does it say that, right? Who's the co-founder of Instagram? Say that? Who's the co-founder of Instagram? Mike. Go to go to this shit. You could go to anybody that's really Mikey verified. Mikey K. Go to Mikey K, right? Anybody that's verified. Go to Betty Diddy. White. Go look, to Betty White. About this account. Let's go to another real uh, go verified to Betty account. White. Go to Betty White. Dilly, don't do that. Go to don't Betty do that, Dilly. White. Let's go to Betty White. Is he verified? She. You don't know who Betty White is? Betty M. White. We go to Betty White. She's. Come on, man. This nigga's gonna stop with this, this lying, bro. Don't fucking lie to me, bro. I will never pay for that. Betty White. I can't even type. Betty White. No. Betty White don't got Let's it. Let's go to the founder of Instagram. Betty White. Mikey K. Read his, read his bio, too, while you at it. Mikey K. It. Read his bio. What's it say? What's his bio say? What you got this for them? Is it, you know these say? people? What's that say? Okay. What's his bio say though? Co-founder and former CTO of Instagram. Come on. Okay. Why is his shit not saying? Okay. Come so on. yes, I'm gonna give it to you. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna give it to you. Come I'm gonna on, give it man. to you. But you still trash. What the Come fuck on. is you talking about? <laughs> you still fucking trash. It don't fucking matter. Now you, now, now. Who the fuck got fake numbers at RGF? You ain't, you ain't gonna just skip past that one. We, we got past it. What's the name? Who got fake numbers? Do the math. Do the math. Go to the RGF artist and see what artist right don't now got, he, is. He don't got no artist. dropping music. He only got one world. artist. He only got Dilly. Don't fucking do that, bro. Don't do that. Don't don't look. We gonna keep it real with each other. Don't do that, bro. Get that. Who he got? He got a bunch of artists, bro. No, for everybody left right what? around. What? Nah, he got a Who bunch Mitch? of artists still. He Who still, Mitch? That's he, the only artist he got over there. He still got WAP. I I'm, I'm saying he, he got under signed. He, he still got, got WAP, bro. Dice. He still got all. Bro, you didn't help WAP numbers. Bro. You you did not help WAP numbers. What, Ma, Remy, Remy Boy Monty? What, what you want to play the guessing game? What the fuck? Remy Boy Monty? He not even signed to Grit. He not signed to Grit. He is. He gotta be signed to Grit. Grit nah. just sent him a letter the other day saying he in breach of contract. Nah, he's talking about WAP, I guess. No, he's talking about Monty. No, he's not. Bro, he's talking about Monty. I was in I was in the clubhouse thing when he when um <clears throat> Guru told him you do your research. Letter. You do your research, bro. Monty okay. Monty been out his contract, bro. How Monty get out his contract? You could YouTube it. You could YouTube it right now, and Monty right there signing the contract. Out of his contract? Yeah, Monty bro. Monty signed right now. Monty's out that bitch. You could bug him. You gotta wait quick. Shout to Monty. Who got fake numbers at RGF? Do the math, bro. Look at you the keep math. talking about. I just, I just named you the artist. There's not too many fucking artists there. That he, cause he fucked the ball up and he, he ain't got nobody over there. So who the fuck got fake numbers? Goo Mitch? Is it Goo Mitch? Yes or no, bro? No, no, bro. So who you talking about on the song? Cause you said it on the song too. I helped your numbers. Da da da. I, I heard it. Yeah, who you talking? Yeah, whoever whoever you, who are you, you talking about? Who you think it is? It could be him, bro. Uh, whatever nah, shit, nah, whoever got the highest nah, numbers, bro. it could be them, bro. I'm not here yeah, to expose good. niggas. Like, I was making money at one point, putting numbers behind people, but I just do that shit on the side. Now. I just I don't, don't. I just don't get how you how how because I'm a, even though he dropped the ball, I'm gonna give it to him. He went diamond. He went diamond. He went or fucking diamond. diamond. No, 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 no. RGF went diamond. RGF and Fetty Wap went diamond. Regardless of wow. he, he put the work in, RGF went diamond. Don't Nobody in Jersey's done it. Bro, if you look at Drake, you look at Drake. Drake has one one diamond hit. Bro, the talent. Drake is the, one of the biggest artists around. The talent goes diamond though. The talent went diamond. Of course, but somebody had to be there to put the money behind it. I'm not gonna knock him for that. He fucked up, but I'm not gonna knock him for what he did. But if you put the money behind you, what would have happened? 
What you mean? I'm a different person. What would happen though? I'm not knocking Fetty. No, well, I'm not knocking Fetty. Yeah, he friend. probably fucking would have went triple fucking diamond. That's what if he would have signed me. I told you if you want a verse, let me know. <laughs> I, I got happen, you, hundred thousand. It only happens when you run into talent. Bro. Personally, I don't think it was the talent with Fetty Wap. I think it was the eye, disability. Yeah, That's what it was. Bro. Exactly what People it was. People singing Trap Queen to this day. It's not. Bro, the it eye. was the eye, bro. Okay. Trap Queen was a wonderful song. It was the eye, bro. I feel like they 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 sing that in Jersey. Well, track queen? No, 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 track queen. No, 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 track queen. Like, no, like, 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 and my way, my way was nationwide. Can't, can't, can't take that from me. Nah, cause I've been to some spots. You ever, you ever asked, you ever asked Nick for any favors? Be honest, bro. You never, bro. Let's not. I'm gonna keep saying it. He's that diamond selling record label. You never asked him for no favors to bring you to a label. None of that. He brought me to 300, but he played the music he wanted to play out of my selection. Like if I pick, I ain't get to pick my own songs to play up there. So. In my eyes, I even told him, bro, you picking a wacky shit. Like the, the 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 labels ain't fuck with you. I played it for Kevin Lyles, and they ain't say like, yo, I want to sign you. So I take it like that. They ain't fuck with me. So you ever been? But I keep it. Little do they know. I, I, like little do they know. What I do for for the people they even fuck with. You know what do you do, Dilly? You keep saying I do I, what I do. What I, I told what you I what do. I did in the past, though. I don't do it no more. I gave people the the sauce and I ran. Go ahead, What's be be the chef, cook it up. I'm going my way. I can't fuck with you anymore. You be doing too much weird shit, bringing the past up every day. It's weird. You need therapy, like. That's the shit I do. We talking about Nitty Grit. We ain't throwing but, no subliminal. But, but you're not, like I said, bro. You're not in my orbit anymore. Like you, you can't even fit in my work. You're not in my world. I don't. You don't come in my brain anymore. There's nothing that you can do for me that I could be like, damn, I need to fuck with you. There's so many people that I used you to, believe he could do. There's so again? many people, bro, that I fuck with that changed because of grit. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, corny. Is, he really can't do nothing for you. What's he gonna do I, I, for I, 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 Personally, I, I agree with you. I heard that he's suing his own label, 300. So, yeah, I, I so he agree can't with get you. you. What's he gonna do for you? Like, He's suing his label, what you mean? That's what I heard. Why would he be suing his label? Who knows? They made fucking that, That's their business. I don't know, but I heard that. I seen it on the internet. That's nuts. So he's that's suing nuts. 300? That's what I saw. I, I personally agree with you. I feel like... With him pushing Gumich right now, you can see it. He doesn't have the power of a. a, a but Gumich fire. If Goom, if if Nick knew what he was doing, Mitch should have been out of here. Personally, hey, a lot on. of people like him. I, I'm not a. You don't I'm like not him? A, I'm not a. I'm not a big fan. I of love him. Mitch music. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a crazy. Fan. I'm not too crazy about it. I, no, I love Mitch music. Mitch got it, bro. Mitch, if he had the right people. What like, artists would you say in Patterson that got it right now? Mitch, Dice, of course. Mm -hmm. Wop, of course. Mm -hmm. A pressure, mm -hmm. thump, mm -hmm. Margella mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. um, I've been seeing the, the SOS Guap guy all around. I've been seeing his name. You could be SOS Guap. And what? It, it's fighting. Yeah, set it up if you want to do that. I can well, do that. We could, we could definitely say. Wait, 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 Boxing match. Boxing match. Boxing match. Look, 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 look. I know wait, Dilly wait, still. Wait. Dilly, when I asked him about some money. He, he, he ignored me, but he brought PR with him. What the? He got Billy got PR. Question mark. If it's going to a non-profit yeah, if, if, if it's related, it, we can we can set that up. We can do. We can set that up. We can set that up. We can set that up. And we gotta get a local a local gym. We can do. We can set it up. Let's see if SOS answer for me. We can do it. Boxing match? Question mark. Yo, SOS. SOS. Just wanted to you know. Yo, what's good with you, broski? Certain angle. Yo, I got I got an artist up here right now, right? And I told him, I basically think he you will knock him the fuck out. You want to set that boxing match up? What's good? We go. Oh, yo, all proceeds go to charity, bro. How old is he? He's old enough. Yeah, all proceeds go to charity, bro. We gonna set this up what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You heard it at the fucking you conference it. room. That's the last one. Let's do it. Eight million dollars. Boxing it's going match. down. Hey, hey, yo, Broski. Hey, Broski. We gonna set it up. You heard? I want you to knock him the fuck out. He little, you heard? He little. He little, just like you. I don't know. Y'all might knock each other out. But, like, yo, we're going to set it up. You heard? You heard it right All here. proceeds, proceeds. Y'all pick y'all charity. You heard? See, y'all pick the now. charity. It go to the charity of your choice. Mm.
we, we, there you go, right there. You heard? You ready for that match? We, we gotta set get, it we up, got, bro. We gotta get the the the, the date. He, look, 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 he call it back. He want action. He want action. I never listen to his music, dog. Look, no, no, no. I just West seen his name around. Hold on, I'll call you back. We in an interview, bro. We in an interview. No, no, he fire. I seen his, I seen his name around. I never. But really he, he, to his he, he's fire. But he's young, and he need, he needs somebody behind him that knows the music. From Patterson, right? Yeah, he's from Patterson. How old is he? He's young, right? He's like 19, oh. 20. Old enough to get in the ring and knock you the fuck out. Oh, I like that. <laughs> he old enough. That's why he old, old enough. Old enough for the knock. This, this really? You heard? Boxing? Match? Yeah. Yo, but... But other artists, yeah. Um, a Pressure, Harlow, Guap, Dice, um, SOS, Guap, Thump, Margella. Um, mad people making noise, bro. I fuck with um, Breezy O. Mm -hmm. He fire. Um, what's my guy name? That did that Gangsters in a Party. Oh, King Vent. King Vent, fire. Yo, question. 4K, question. fire, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Question, question, qu question alert, question alert. <laughs> Danny Sue, AMG, what is he to RGF? What is he, what is he in that, that you movie? You asking the wrong person. What is he in, you, are you fucking know, bro. Yo, Dilly, you gonna no, do that say, to me? I don't know, bro. Dilly, you gonna do that? Shout out to Danny Sue. That's shout out to yeah. Shout out to Danny Sue. I don't know what he do for RJ. Shout out to Danny Sue. But I know he's a part of it. I never asked. It's not my business. I don't care enough. Yeah, I, I, I just don't. I didn't know what that situation was. There were more some acquaintances. Yo, you got P.O. He got so, P.O. Yeah, yeah, Dilly yeah. got, <laughs> yo, Dilly got P.R. with him, bro. Dilly, what the yo, music bro. treating you like, bro? In a uh, you know, it's not like a friendship. Okay. PR. Okay. You heard? It's not a. It's. It is not a uh -huh. friendship. You guys are not acquainted. You hear them? <laughs> not acquainted. Nah. And we all can look up the definition of good business and bad business. That's, mm. Dilly, what you doing right it. now, bro? Like, what you, you dealing with the music? You. No, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm dealing with the music. I make music every day, bro. And. I stay away from negative energy, you know what I'm saying? Always gotta keep positive vibes around me, you know what I'm saying? Be meditating, I'll be saging. You know what meditating? Saying? You about to like some who, who bro, bro. Who gave you that sage? <laughs> like light the energy, fuck it. Like the light the energy, <laughs> fuck it. Light like the fuck energy. Alright, that shit better not give me Dilly, don't do that shit. Fire admire, man. Fire dot admire on Instagram, man. You can get saved from how did you, them. They're how did local. You? They're local too. They'll drop it off and everything. Shout out to the local businesses. And you know, I always support local businesses, local artists. I don't care about the blue check. Yeah, that might help you. And I'm willing to help you, but I don't care about the blue check, bro, to me. When you say support. At one point I did, but now I look at it like, uh -uh. Yeah, but when you say support, I get it. Because when you say support, you technically you have a blue check. You've been around the Remy Boys, di uh, platinum diamond selling artists, whatever you want to call it. Got songs with Jay Critch, Fetty Wap, Okay, Fado, talk your shit. Talk your shit. Bunch of people. So why you not popping? Well, I, I know why you not popping. I, I, I How know. Fetty Wap get popping again? Popping. He had a bag behind him, right? He had yeah. Pump. I don't have that. I don't have none of that. So what everything. you Billy Dollars, Blue Check. Explain yeah, that. Everything I do is myself. What do you mean Blue Check? Blue Check is because I have history. If you search my name on Google, I pop on Fetty Wap Wikipedia as one of the first artists that did a feature with Fetty Wap. So, like, my name is there forever. And Trap Queen went diamond, so my name is... My name's been seen multiple times. I would never fake a blue check. I would never... My name is... I have history, bro. Like, not for nothing. I was in the 6 7 R video. I, I was around all that history, so... You think it, that history helps you out now with your music or no? Of or course. Or does it... Is it is it bad for you? Nah, bro. <clears throat> I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole new me. Like, I stay away from all the bullshit now. Drama. I don't stay in the streets no more. I used to be in the streets with Dice fucking around now. I stay inside, bro. Yeah, what's the situation with you and Dice now? How that situation? My best friend still to this day. You got the Remy boy shit mm -hmm. going on still. I still be in a stew with them, so. Everything's love, bro. Came a long way from love. Yeah, yeah. Billy said, yeah. Worst thing that happened to me, I came up like, yo, what's good? Got knocked the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Why you don't drop, bro? Because you played me some, yeah, you played me, 
the music, I ain't, I'm gonna keep saying the music before was fucking trash. The music you just played, Look, you was playing me before? Like, even the shit you just played in the beginning. Look, I told Nick the sauce how to get an artist popping. So how, why you not popping? how to put numbers behind it. That don't make sense. Let's talk about it. To put numbers behind the artist, you need money. Okay. Oh. I, don't, I don't have a job. Technically, my only job right now is being an artist. So mm -hmm. I make money off promoting. You got and, any placements? I don't got, I mean, nah, I was on the charts for like, for the um, streaming shit. But I wasn't on like no Apple Music charts, not like that. Okay. I was on some different shit, digital marketing charts. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. You're a PR. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, not yet, bro. We got a lot of music coming, and I got like five to ten music videos about to drop soon. I'm about to just release everything all at once, basically, throughout the year, throughout this year, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do what I have to do. Just what the labels do for the artists, I'm gonna do for myself because I don't got a label and but how do you, I don't believe in labels. I don't know if you want to give some of your sauce up, but how, how do you plan to do that without a bag behind you? Obviously, I gotta put a little bag behind me, but I fuck with a bunch of people, bro, who got power, like, and who got a lot of following, so I just gotta, gotta reach out, have people post me, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with a lot of people. And a lot of Jersey people popping, and th and they moved out of Jersey, so they got connections elsewhere. Like Monty, Monty in Miami, mm -hmm. Justin Love, he in Miami. There's a bunch of people everywhere tapped in. I got I got fan I got people in uh, in North, North Carolina, Sean Love, Atlanta. So I just gotta tap in. That's what I gotta do, and I do it everything myself. I don't have no team, no manager, so everything's dolo, bro. You plan to get a manager or no? If someone you, reach you know out. a little bit of the game now. If someone reach point. out, I know what it take. All I need is a bag behind me, and, and we could do it. We can make some money, but that's all it take. Really. So, are you? Would you ever sign a contract? I would if it made sense. I haven't had a manager in years. Signing a contract, I don't believe in that shit. Like right now, I, I technically. Ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. It's a lawsuit in a process going are on. Are you signed? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you signed? Because how you do all of this and not be signed to not one person? That don't make sense to me. No, I'm not signed. But I got people that signed reaching out to me trying to get verified. And they want to know how to... Bro, that's all people want nowadays is numbers and verifications. And I don't know how to do all that shit, but everything is money, bro. These I told y'all these rappers out here faking these numbers. They lying, y'all. Uh, I told you. Nah, then he said he ain't putting nobody on blast. Yo, SOS Guap is still yo. He Man, gonna knock you the fuck out, bro. He still text, bro. He said call him back. He said call him back. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. I don't think everybody numbers fake though. But if you check my numbers, bro, you can tell I don't put no bag behind myself. Bro. All my shit organic. Like you're not gonna see a lot of yo. Numbers. What happened, bro? What happened? What happened? Cause you keep calling us in the interview. What happened? Why are you bang on me like I'm <laughs> cause, 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 cause Dilly said he gonna knock you the fuck out, that's why. Yo. Oh, yeah. Shit, yo. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't get on the fucking phone talking about you. We gonna set this boxing match up. Where your face it's at, bro? To, yo, where your face at, nigga? He need to see what the fuck he gonna lump up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, 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 bro. The question is, when Dilly put the paws on you, right? What you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, so, 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 guess what? Guess he what? Said it's not happening. Welcome to the conference room. Get the fuck off my phone. Yo, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> you scared? You look like you're shaking over there. You keep lighting that. You keep trying to light. It's not gonna light no more, bro. I think you're nervous. I'm so scared, bro. You nervous? Bro, I got stabbed and shot at. You think I'm scared, bro? You got stabbed I, too. I face on my face, what you be bro? going through, bro? <laughs> you, be, you, you be fighting. So you, let me shit. guess. You be fighting a demon. <laughs> Bitch, you is the demon. This nigga said I've been shot. I've been stabbed. Got hit by a train, but I was alright though. <laughs> cool. Like, what you be going through, bro? It's the old me, bro. It's the new but me. But my, my question, alright, alright. Because I feel like I skipped past it with the whole thing. I want to get a little bit about. I want. I want. I want to understand you. Because when you think about Patterson, you think about trenches. You think about craziness. When you think about, like I said, you think about Clifton. You don't think about that. And even when, from the beginning, you told me um, it was on Nickelodeon with the naked, the naked brother band. You had talent. Your mom put you in acting. 
that doesn't happen in the trenches. So how does this whole Dilly Dilly Dollars getting fucking stabbed, shot, hit by trains, fucking shootouts, whatever the fuck it is, how does this come about? Haters, bro. Look, he looked at PR real quick. Like, what do I say? No, no, no. What the fuck? What do you be going through? She ain't, gotta tell, she ain't gotta tell you nothing. She ain't gotta tell you nothing. Welcome to the conference room. What the fuck do you be doing out here, Dilly? Because it's not. Yo, listen. Haters, bro. What you mean, haters? When I got stabbed, bro, I was like 17. I just made my soul with Freddy Wops. I was young as hell. Niggas just hating. What? I was at the corner store, went to get rolled up. And it was like seven of them. Okay, so it's because uh, circle my car, I got out, popped on one. They they fought me, I fought them. It was like seven of them beating on me, threw me in a store, lifted me up, stabbed me, ran out. I was young as hell. They was hating. I don't know. I ain't do nothing to them to to hate. I mean, one of them was going out with one of my exes, but you don't stab someone for that. I don't know. What's your parents? Because it don't seem like you was raised in a, a, a bad home. Nah, your parents my, think about my parents it, raised me well, very well. I think that's fucked up. I wasn't raised in the street. I'm not a street person. Because, because, because you in the beginning you told me you you making music with whatever Fetty Wap comes. Somebody's from Patterson, no no eye. Now she's thinking, ah oh, man, Dilly got stabbed. Dilly out there. Like, what do your parents? Where are your parents at with you at this point? Shit. At that time, I just graduated, so they was telling me to get a job. I got a job. I was working. At Neil's Pizzeria in Clifton, I was a delivery boy mm -hmm. until I got stabbed. When I got stabbed, they fired me. So after that, I just, they fired you for getting stabbed. Cause they was like, yo, I don't want nobody to call us and ask for pizza and you come there and something happens. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like, we gotta let you go. So after that, I just never had a job after that. Just street music and I started investing into myself. Mm -hmm. Like three years back. My dad gave me a lottery ticket for my um, birthday, and I popped 10 bands no um, for $5 scratch-offs. So That's with dope. that money, I basically just put it into myself. I did a vital feature. I started paying for mad videos, mm -hmm. and shit got lit. Like, I got the blue check. Shit started happening, so. And it's going to keep happening. I just keep progressing. Like, throughout the years, like, are you going to see a change? And everything's on video. You can check all my videos, it's going to say 2018, 2019, 2020, 20, and you'll see the difference between every year, it's just progression, and that's what I love, bro, I'm about change, like, the old me is, is, is not the same me, I'm a different person, like, I have different goals, like, before I just wanted to be this rapper, this rich, now I just want to build a family and, and have a good house and support my own family that I have right now and have my own family. I don't care about all that other shit. I'm How the ladies treat you? Hmm? How the ladies treat you? Hmm? Ladies? Mm -hmm. How the ladies treat me? Ladies? Nowadays, it's hard to get a girl because the stupid blue check, bro. It's not stupid because it helps me with my career. But when yeah, how do to, people treat you? When, they when it comes to girls, like, I meet them. Everything is on the internet nowadays. So mm -hmm. when you meet a girl, everything is on the internet. And all they see is the blue check. So all they think about is, oh, it's... He's lit, he might be this person, he could get me this, clout, blah, 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 money, and it's not that way. It's really not like that. Name the time, name the time. If you meet me as a person, bro, it's Dilly and it's Dylan. Mm -hmm. My real name is Dylan, and, and it's, a, it's two different people, bro. It's an artist and it's a, it's a real human being who has a family, who lost his brother, who has bills, I have bills, bro. Like, I go through everything. Like, I struggle to this day. Like, it's not, I, I don't, I'm not rich off rap just because I have a blue check. I'm saying, mm -hmm. but I do help other artists locally, low key. Like people don't even know, but I, I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So you help artists as far as what, just promo or with labels as far as what? Promote, yeah. Like I do my own thing. I don't want to talk about it. Like there's a bunch of like um, ways to get lit out there, and and low key, I'm building a a, a platform low key for artists locally to get mm -hmm. popping and. I don't, I don't even. I don't even want my name. To, yeah, I don't want my name to be behind it. Discussed. I don't want my name to be behind it, but my name is behind it. Because but no, no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Because we. But locally, I'm wait, doing wait, shit wait, for wait, artists, wait. and so because we no, have the conference room, and we not gonna just talk about the bad. My nigga Dilly out here supporting you artists, and you don't even fucking know it. And, and shout out to Fat Boy. I fucking Fat Boy, man. Fat Boy, he know what I'm doing. 
good. He knows what I'm doing, and what I'm doing is something big. Like I can have events in the future and, and shit like this podcast with like, artists up, but like I don't want my name behind it. I'm just building followers, <coughs> a real ass engagement, no marketing, no fake followers. Everything is real, and what I'm just trying to do is help other people because that feeling that I got, bro, when I got that blue check, bro. I want, I want you to feel it. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel it. What, 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 what's this podcast called? The conference room. When the conference room gets verified, bro, that feeling is gonna be different, bro. You gonna be like, nah, we're really stepping this shit up. Nah, fuck, fuck this little mic. We're getting, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, that feeling, bro. I want all of you to feel that, cause when I felt that, bro, even though a blue check is nothing, it's everything to some people. You know what I'm saying? I have people in my DMs to this day willing to pay five to ten bands for a blue check. You know what I'm saying? So that feeling that I got organically, because how I did it, I'm not gonna put you on the sauce, but like you can request it. Yeah, he can't put the conference room on the sauce. You could request in your DM how to how to get verified, mm-hmm. and I did it twice. I used to chill with Chad B back in the day, and that's when I was doing it because I was like, yo, I chill with him every day. He's verified. How come mm-hmm. I'm not? I tried it twice. I, I got denied, and then. I gave up for months. And then one day I tried it randomly and I waited four days and then that shit just popped up and bro that I called niggas on the phone, no one picked up, ran to the barber shop and said, Yo, I got the blue check. He's like, Yeah, I they checked and it was gas for me, bro. That shit was different. Yo, what's your creative process like? Cause you you've been through some shit. You could tell. My creative as in like music? Yeah. And how do I how do I how do I work? Everything. I have a studio, I have a studio in Patterson, and I have a studio in my crib, so basically, I used to write, but now, like, I noticed that, you know when, it's a saying, like, when you drink, we're drinking right now, right, and I'm telling the truth, supposedly when you get drunk and you fight with your ex or whatever, you end up telling the truth, like, supposedly it's like the truth come out when you lit, or whatever. so what I do is I get lit, bro, and I go in the studio, over lit, I get over lit. That's the game. What happened to that project? Did nah, you it's out. It's out. It's out. It? That dice dropped it. Okay. It's on dice. Um, SoundCloud over lit the mixtape. But um, I get lit as fuck basically, bro. And the truth comes out on the mic. I say what's on my mind, and it's not some shit I would say when I was sober. When I'm sober, I'm trying to be like a top artist. When I'm lit, bro, I just say whatever is on my mind. If you fuck with it, don't fuck with it. But it's what's on my mind, so it's real as fuck. I'm not gonna get real than that. Do you feel like that you do? Do you feel like that you get the support that you give? Not at all. You mean you, you said you don't know? No, I said not at all. Not at all. I give a lot of support. I give too much support. I feel like, but um, when it comes to support back, does nah. it affect you at all? And I've never been one of those persons to DM you and be like, yo, comment on my shit, comment on my. I get DMs about local artists to comment on my shit, and what do I do? I comment on their shit, but I will never DM them to comment on my shit. And when I post, they will not comment on my shit. But I still won't DM them like, yo, I commented on your shit when you come. I don't care. Does no, it affect you at all? If you pop, right, is, would it, like, is it important for you to get support, like, support and love from where you came from? Or at that point, it is what it is. It's just that check. It's always going to be it is what it is because... No matter who support me, I'm going to show love. If it's Jersey, if it's Texas, wherever it's at, bro, I'm going to show love. What I expect, though, is my own state to show me love. But it's a lot of haters. Like, For instance, like I said, I'm trying to build a platform low-key. If people knew the platform that I was doing was me, they want to support it. Bro. It's big, too. They want to support It's big. already big. They want to support it. So I'm just keep I'm gonna keep building this shit and never show who the fuck I am because once they know who the fuck's behind it, they may not ever support it because that's how people work. So I'd rather keep it low key and it may go bigger like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I personally we wish, we could do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I it's just I, me I, myself. I, I just I personally want to let you know like fuck what I heard about you before whatever you've been to. Whatever. I want to know what you heard. I want you what to you, know. I want you to know. I fuck with you. What'd you, you hear though? I, I heard loved you. It. I heard you told before. You heard I told. I heard you told before. <laughs> I heard you. I, I, you asked me what I heard you. 
Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Mickey, 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 Mickey Muska Mouse. I was waiting for that. Mickey, look, Mickey, look. Mickey, 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 but I heard you say Mickey Mickey Muska Mouse. <laughs> from, from who though? Did you tell, bro? Never. I'm talking to you. Never. I'm grown, bro. So why did I hear you too? From when? Where? Clifton. Clifton? Yes. Never, bro. Never. You won't see my my first name, last name on no paper. So that's ever. the first. So so, so 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 is that the first time you ever heard about that? Right now? It's not the first time. People so 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 that. explain it, bro. Don't do that. If you want. If you want to come up here and say, yo, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not Mickey Mouse, no. If you're, not, if you're going to say that, you got to clear your name, bro. People said that I got snitched, supposedly DK, when I got stabbed, right? But, like, after I got stabbed, first of all, I was off exam when I got stabbed, and I was, like, 17 years old, young as hell. After that, I got put into an ambulance because I crashed the whip driving my man's home. And some lady was out there, and she's like, that's my car, I'm calling the cops. So she called the cops, police come, and they're like, yo, you fucked up. This girl said you drinking or whatever. And I'm like, yo, to be honest, I haven't been drinking or nothing. Officer pull up. He's like, you fucked up? I'm like, nah. I'm like, to be honest, officer, like, I'm a little, like, dizzy. Like, I got fucked up a few minutes ago off the block. I just got beat the fuck up. He's like, yeah, you good? This nigga looked at my back, he was like, Shh, I need an ambulance at 27 Malash Ave. I'm so like, you bleeding, you don't even know I didn't know. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, like a, you know? Anyway, I'm stabbed, I didn't know, and once he told me, basically I fell to the floor, I woke up in the, in the ambulance going to the hospital. They're like, you know who did this? I'm like, nah, but it's in Clifton, it was at the 24-7 spot, like this camera's blah, blah, blah. I get out the next day, I'm still chilling on the block where I, where I drove my boy to, where I dropped him off. And I you just telling the police where, where it happened that Where it mean? happened, it's on camera, go ahead, go do what you gotta do. Um, I never went to no police station, nothing. I was, I was, in, a, I was, in, a, I was in a hospital. I got, I got fucked by a bad bitch with a camera. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was internally Dilly, Dilly Dollar, so your shit. They didn't, they Blue they check didn't, shit. They didn't know if I was internally bleeding, so mm -hmm. there was a nurse there with a piercing, pretty as hell, squeezing on my little white ass, and she's like, honey, like, you need a booty play with? Don't shake my hand, motherfucker. She like, you see your booty play with? Let me get a squonk. She like, listen, you need to, um, you need to loosen up. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. She like, you been stabbed. Like, we need to see if you're internally. Oh, so you don't even know what's going on at this point. I'm still fucked up, like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, you've been stabbed, um, you've been internally, you're, I don't know if you're internally bleeding or not, um, can you roll, please? I don't know if you're internally bleeding or not, so we need to put this He's still trying to convince us he don't got money. Just break up, just break up for me. Through the weeds to PR, like, yo, can you roll for me, please? Break up for me. But he don't got no money. Um, she was like, I don't know if you're internally bleeding, so you can't leave the hospital until we do this. So she did that, you know what I'm saying? Got out the hospital the next day. Like I said, I'm posted on the stoop there, and I see one of the kids on a bike <clears throat> rolling past, and he was there when I got stabbed, so I just went up to him, ripped him. He fell off his bike. I, yeah, because you be I, acting like you a good boy. I'm glad you be you, you I go, saying I that. ghost ride his bike. I beat him up in front of some pizza deliver guys. Like, I'm calling the cops. I'm like, do what you got to do, but I just got fucked up last night by him and his people, and I just kept beating him. Then I ran home, because I already knew what time they on. If mm -hmm. I stay there, it's going to be like 10, 15 of them coming. Mind that they, they're gang banging. I don't gang bang. They was you in don't a, gang bang at all? They, they, they was a gang. They was in a gang. They in a gang. You know what I'm saying some You never gang Spanish banged in your life? Gang. Nah, I fuck with gang bangers, but I ain't no gangster from Clifton. Where the grass is greener. Okay, boy, talk this shit. At least you admit it. With the grass is At least greener. you admit it, okay. I want the cap. 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 I want the cap